Here I am on my break, and I decided. Oh, at least I should. I know I should keep doing these dang videos in the, in the, in the daylight. Cause it looks really good. Now the camera looks decent in the daylight. You can catch all my ugly face, <laughs> or all my beauty marks. But yeah, I, I decided to do a, a review. Uh, first review. First movie review. Um, I watched a foreign film. Um, the name of this film is Beanpole. Um, I wrote down the. Give me a second. Wrote down the stars' names. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna attempt to say their names. What are the last names? I'll, I'll go to first. I guess her name is Victoria. Is the is the main star? Um, it's the tall one if you decide to watch it. Um, and then Vesselia, Vis Vesselia is the co-star. Uh, some eye crust there, a little eye buggers. Oh man, it's right here. I should to get it off. There you go. Still got eye buggers. It's this early in the morning, or this late in the day. I still got eye buggers. Um. This is a rough one because this this movie takes you to a deep it drags you down into a deep dark place where nobody ever visits and only sorrow lives. What is that? Yeah, see the camera works way better in the daytime. I'm seeing stuff on my face I never seen before. What is that? It's like a mole or something or a pimple? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but it, 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 it takes you there. At least personally, it took me there. I was I was kind of in a, a dark state of mind for for almost the whole night. I was just like thinking, I was just thinking about why, 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 why. Right, let me roll my window up, though. My window up. Turn the old truck on here. Roll my window up. I don't recommend laying down in the day cab. It is not comfortable. There we go. Now the sound could be a little bit better. But somebody drive by. I gotta make sure. Make sure I don't know who that is. Um. Yeah, the name of the movie is Beanpole. Um, it's a Russian film. So it it it, it tells the story of two two women who served in the Russian army. This tells the story of two women who served in the Russian army during World War II. This is um, directly after World War II, and they're they're based they're back home. Um, should I? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell as much as I think I can of this movie. Um, man, I can't I can't remember the, the starting. Well, the start of it, you're introduced to the main character, and she's she's a, a gorgeous. Uh, but she's she's gorgeous, not in like, not in like 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 um. She's like right in between, I would say, right in between, gorgeous as in oh my god, she's gorgeous and she's gorgeous in a Picasso type way, you know what I mean? Like like artist type way, like like you're so odd looking that you become uh you become attractive or or beautiful. She's right in between there, so. Finding somebody like that to to star is a feat, I, I believe. It's something it's something that makes it that get, makes this movie extra special, just just off of her appearance, just based off her appearance. And of course, um, they use that throughout the movie because there'll be times there there's times when the camera's focused on her and she's doing her job as an actress to to um to 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 project emotions from facial expressions and body and body and, and body movements but she has like natural blonde hair and blonde eyebrows against pale skin and she'll be standing by a solid red door and the wall will be painted uh the wall will be painted like forest green or something like that so all these all, and she have red lipstick on, so all these contrast, all these contrasting colors are bouncing off one another, creating a beautiful image. 
Um, and they do that multiple times through the movie. It's, it's they do a great job of that. But that, that's not the only takeaway of this movie, of course. Um, but, but like I said, they start off with her, and she and they, and they make a point. They, they, they make a and they make a point to to showcase that she's taller than the average person. She's like six feet, which is pretty tall for for a woman. I, I, even today, I feel like. Especially, especially back in the late '40s, this is when this movie takes place, um, she has a small child. You're not really, you're not really given a medical breakdown of what the child has, but it's obvious the child has some has some type of disorder. Now, she was in the army. Um, she's come back to work as a nurse in. Um, like a Walter Reed type situation, if anybody's familiar with that. Sort of like, it's an army hospital. She's come back to work in one of those, but on a, on a smaller scale. Um, so she's caring for injured soldiers and whatnot. Uh, you're introduced to a couple of the characters in there. One of them, one of them is a is a hero or is portrayed as a hero, but he's paralyzed from his neck down, and that's no good in the late forties. I mean, there's. There was basically no medical. Medical science was 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 really, I wouldn't say in its infancy, but it was just learning how to walk, if that's the way to put it. So there was like, there's nothing they could do for him. He was ba- he would basically be a burden on anyone who had to take care of him. And this is right after a, a world war that. Uh, that during that before and during economies were basically um, little, if any, to speak of. Like it, there was no money being circulated, really. So for him to go back home and have to be waited on hand and foot by his wife, and also uh, with her having children, and there still was a a um I wouldn't call it sexist but a more of a it was more of a male based society and this now a lot of this stuff I'm just going off what I've read and things like that so I'm not an expert on on life in pre World War II Russia by any means I'm not even that worldly worldly but I, I know it would it would have been a struggle for him to go back I only mention that because I, I'm not gonna tell it. I'm not gonna tell it. it, it it's worth a watch. I'm not gonna tell it. But I will. I I will say this before I get too too further down. I don't recommend that people go watch this movie. I know it's a, it's a weird thing to say. Or maybe let me rephrase it. If you don't have a strong mind and a strong stomach, don't go watch this movie because you're going to you're going to be your emotions are going to be balled up beat frozen brought out chastised and ridiculed then beat some more and then put then then put through a pasta maker flattened sh- cut in pieces cooked ate and shut out it's a really tough movie to watch it's full of emotion it's not even an emotional roller coaster it's an it's an emotional uh ride down one of the steepest hills it starts off like right here because there's no because that's your just your emotion going into the movie, and then by the time the end of the movie comes, you're way down here. But I I don't know. I think the majority of people would steer away from this type of these type of subjects because of the emotional effect it would have. But this movie does a great job of showing the beauty involved in tragedy. It does a great job of showing that. Um, let me restart over to to the to the beginning. So, you're introduced to the main character. She has a child. Obviously, has some type of disorder. They don't really go too far into it. Um, and you're also you also you also made aware of her uh, of her position. She has some type of disorder or some type of. Um, a, a lack of ability to function where she spaces out and just loses all control of her of her body and and 
stands there and she's she's present but not present um so it continues it continues uh, an event happens I won't won't mention that um then her friend comes back in full army uniform she's been discharged from the army and of course she's coming back looking for a job but there's obviously something wrong with her she's bleeding out of her nose um Another thing I want to mention, um, when I watch foreign films, they're a lot looser with the nudity. Um, it, it's weird for me to say that. It's not something that I, I necessarily focus on. I don't go, oh my God, oh my God, you know, a body. It's That's what it is. It's just a human body. It's just the, the fact that in America, it, it's it's... It's it seems it feels like it's overly taboo to even show a, a nipple or or some or, or or God forbid something more, but even the fact that I say God forbid, it's just it it hasn't it hasn't had a the normalization of a human body in its purest form hasn't had a chance to be cultivated in America. It's all basically taboo and thought of as wicked, in my opinion. But it's it's not. That that's where human beings come from. It's 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 one of the most basic. It's one of the most elementary forms of attraction, is how somebody looks physically. So, in order for that, it, it, having that being, I have to find the words. Ha- having that being like concealed, kind of like it, 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 it messes up. It messes up a natural thought process. I feel like it. it yeah, it, it it mutates something that's a natural feeling. If you see it, like, oh my God, you want to cover up and oh, that's not you know that's not oh I, I'm not shouldn't be looking at that one. It's just like it's a body and you and if there's somebody's in distress and you see that you should you should help and if somebody's not in distress and they're just out frolicking or, or whatever the case is or if they're in a proper setting then it shouldn't be that big of a a shock and once you get over that and of course there's there's still a disconnect because I don't speak Russian I, I believe they were speaking Russian they may have been speaking some uh, forgotten uh, dialect or or a language similar to Russian I'm not 100% um, there's a disconnect there because I don't speak the language um, you can you can only you can only get emotionally so emotionally involved in a movie when you don't speak the language and you're reading subtitles but the actors do a great job what actresses and the actor they do a great job of of visually drawing you in as well and of course like I said the a lot of these a lot of these pictures that they're taking well a lot of these close-ups and, and shots that you're taking not pictures should be pictures or, or oil paintings they're really beautiful um now where was I in the story um friend comes back uh I guess I could tell that there's one there's one little part of the story that's going on the woman that come her friend that comes back from the front they're walking they want to go out dancing they want to have a good time um two guys in the car roll up Hey, what's going on? And you know, the dance hall happens to be closed, so they like we ain't doing nothing else. We might as well go hang with them. So they hang with them, and of course, high school type stuff. They wind up doing the do, but the the main character to introduce to first, you find out real quickly that she actually has feelings for the other woman. So she gets into a tussle with the gentleman she was with and then she gets comes back and pulls the guy that was on her friend off and beats him up a little bit um yeah, every, uh, those two guys get a, a a chuckle out of it um but there's certain things that start to arise and you're made aware of and it just like I say you're just you're, you're strapped in and you're just going straight downhill from there it's it's pr- it's pretty much nonstop, um, so that that continues to happen. But 
but let me let me tell you why that's so important that I, I say that. Um, the the little fellow he comes off as a, as a young and inexperienced guy, possibly a virgin, and he's just slept with this this army woman, this woman who's just been discharged from the army. So uh, of course he's gonna fall in love. I think, hey, I think most people after their first time they do f- fall in love, but. Um, it, it, things go on, and and I'm gonna skip a lot because I think it's worth a watch. Even though I, 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 well, I do recommend you watch this, but I will say, get your mind in the right space and be prepared for what you're gonna watch. is is really rough. Um. So, he falls in love with her. They just and of course there's there's conflict between her with, between the two friends because the one friend actually cares for that friend. Um, but then you find out she's 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 unable to produce children. She's infernal. She's had like a a hysterectomy or something like that, something equivalent to that. Um, but yeah, the the young guy falls in love with her, and apparently he comes from money, so he winds up taking her home to meet his parents, and this great battle starts. This great battle comes between. His mother and his and his and his love interest, they go back and forth and they're exchanging insults. It's just a beautifully done scene. Um, but that end that that's basically towards the end of the movie. There's a lot that happens in between there. Um, I'm just not gonna give up too much of it. I've been talking for too long. I feel like it's a great movie. Don't get me wrong, it's a great movie, but it's just it, it, I think it would be hard to watch for most people. Because it's 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 like it's a Russian film, it's a foreign film, so there's that disconnect uh, with 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 how their society uh, views certain things and how Americans will view would view it. M- myself, I'm I'm not anti-American. I'm not pro-Russian. I'm not whatever. It, I don't even know why I would would say that. My my the whole thing is I'm just looking at it as 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 viewing pleasure how does it strike me as far as that aspect and i think it's a great movie 